Welcome to Animal Crossing Gameplay, I'm Dan. This episode is all about tips and tricks. For our first tip, let's go ahead and make a golden rose. To do this, you need a 5 star island rating. To start off with, you need a field of red roses. Select an area and plant red roses in a diamond formation. Go ahead and water those roses. When you come back the next day, you'll see different coloured roses are starting to bud. We're interested in the black roses. Dig up those black roses and plant them somewhere else. Continue to water the red roses every day until you have many black roses. Go to resident service and ask Isabella what your current island rating is. If your island is rated at 5 stars, she'll give you a recipe to make a golden watering can. Let's go ahead and make that golden watering can. You need a gold nugget and a watering can. Go to the area you planted the black roses and water them with the golden watering can. You want to continue to transfer the black roses that started to grow in the red rose field and eventually the black roses will start growing next to each other as we can see here. And of course you want to water them every day with the golden watering can. For us the very next day we had our very first golden rose starting to bud. However, sometimes it may take extra few days for this to happen. And as we just seen, we want to dig up that golden rose and plant it in its own specific area. This will allow more space for more golden roses to grow in its place tomorrow. If you come back the following day, you will see there are black roses starting to bud and we have one more golden rose starting to bud as well. Once again, let's dig it up and plant it next to the other one. Just repeat this process until you have enough golden roses that you want. One important thing is to remember to water the black roses every day with the golden watering can. Otherwise, the golden rose won't start to bud the next day. Let's put all resource rocks to one specific part on our island. First of all, you want to allocate an area that you want your rocks to be. You can either have it fenced off or in front or behind a cliff. However, you must have it on a grassy area. Mark out the area into six different sections. You want to go to your DIY crafting bench and craft a whole lot of fences and lay them everywhere on the island. That means every patch of grass and every dirt track. So now that we actually got all the fencing pails done, you want to actually make sure they are two squares apart from each other. Now if you dig a hole next to the fence and another hole, here we can see there's two holes distance between each fence. and. That is the perfect distance. And also in front of the fence, you want to make sure there's also only two holes distance. And once again, behind. This is to make sure that no rocks will appear in this area. Once the fences are completely laid out and the grass is completely covered with fences, you want to find the rocks and break them. So you want to go ahead and break all the rocks. Even though you break all the rocks, only one rock will reappear in the right place each day. So just be aware of that. After the rock is broken, you want to either place an item or you can put a fence down. So let's place an item and that will reassure us that no rock will reappear in this spot in the future. Once six days have passed, you can see if the rocks are in the right spot. As you can see, only five rocks have appeared and one is missing. This is because the back of the cliff is too close to the spots we want the rock. You should get your Island Designer app ready and be sure that there's no trees or any other items placed on top of the cliff. This will prevent the cliff from being transformed to the right shape. A minimum space of four square blocks behind the cliff is needed so that the rock will appear on the right spot. As mentioned earlier, it will take over a week so that all the rocks are positioned in the right place. All right, let's check if the rocks are all in the right place. Yes, they are. One very important point is that if you break the rocks, they will appear the next day elsewhere and the entire procedure will have to be repeated. We want to grow a tree to a specific size without it growing bigger in the future. As an example, you can see there are eight squares around each tree. If you plant a fruit or a nursery tree in the area of any of these squares, it will stop the tree from growing further. Let's try it out. We're going to plant a fruit in front of a tree. And now that tree won't grow any bigger. Now it's easy as that. If you don't want that little nursling tree in front of that tree you want to restrict from growing bigger, you can actually plant it behind. And now you can't see it. This will work for all the trees on your island, including the bamboo tree and coconut trees. 
Let's look at the reasons why it's good to have a second character on the island. First, each character has the possibility to collect bells from the glowing holes, doubling the amount of bells in one day. And this is the same when you want to plant a money tree. Your reward will be double when the tree is fully grown. There are six rocks on the island. If they hit with a shovel, resources will come out of them. And one of them is a money rock. After all the rocks have been hit and the resources collected, the second character will also have a chance to do this. However, there is only one money rock and one resource rock. All the best finding the right rock. Each character has a chance to collect a message in a bottle every day, doubling your chance to get a DIY that you don't have. When Pirate Gulliver comes to the island, both characters can individually on the same day complete the mission they were given and receive a present from Pirate Gulliver. This is the same when regular Gulliver, Wisp, Celeste and Label come to the island. If each character collects three of their favourite bugs, they will be able to get a model of it when Flick comes to the island. After 6pm you can request a song from KK Slider. There are three secret songs, try requesting one of them. Animal City, Farewell and Driven are three known secret songs. And then afterwards he will give you a copy of the song. Your second character also has the chance to request a song. It's a good time to request a song you might not have purchased yet. And after this song has been played, KK Slider will send both characters a copy of that song in the mail. The active character will have a yellow arrow above their head. If you want to give the following character a specific item, just drop the item. When the following character picks it up, it will disappear. Where did it go? Well, if you go to resident service, the item can be found in the collection box. Open the box, and there it is. Both characters can choose a piece of art when Red comes to the island. This doubles the amount of art you can collect in one day. However, Red has fake art on his ship. Please choose carefully. Each character can buy 5 mailable items from the ABD per day. Between both characters, 10 items can be ordered and delivered the next day. Both characters can go for a swim and speak to Pascal. He's always ready to give an item in return for a scallop. Giving Nook Miles to another character is normally not possible. A good way to get around it is by purchasing an item by Nook Miles, dropping the item and then swap the leader. The leader can now go ahead and pick up the item. Easy peasy. One thing to be aware of is that the second character cannot place inclines, bridges or change the layout. Only the main character has this ability. However, the second character can make changes to his own home. When doing shopping in Nook's cranny shop, be aware that when any of the three large items are sold, the other character won't be able to buy it. It's also the same if you have visitors coming to your island. When choosing a name for your second character, it might be a good idea to choose a name you like. The villagers on the island regularly talk about the second character. You can get a little confused if you just call your second character number one or character A. I really hope you like these tips and tricks. Remember to press like and subscribe and share and we'll see you in the next episode.